After logging more than 300,000 miles of real-world driving across several vehicles, I uncovered something that completely flips our assumptions about engine oil. A few premium oils that brag about lasting 20,000 miles were already struggling at just 4,000 miles. And one inexpensive, often mocked oil something most mechanics dismiss actually beat nearly every high-end competitor. But the biggest shocker was this changing your oil too frequently might be harming your engine faster instead of protecting it. In this video, you'll see lab results, real-world evidence, and hands-on mechanic observations gathered throughout a 300,000-mile oil test that left even experienced engineers stunned. Stay to the end because I'll reveal which oil survived, which ones failed miserably, and the single maintenance habit that almost doubled engine lifespan. Section 1. How the 300,000-mile test was conducted. Before getting into the results, here's how the testing process was designed, because data without context is meaningless. This wasn't a controlled lab demonstration or a marketing gimmick. It was a multi-year endurance experiment using three identical engines. Toyota 2.5L i4s, known for consistent wear patterns and long-term reliability. Ten different synthetic oils were rotated through the engines. Driving conditions were standardized with a mix of city, light, and highway use, along with similar climates and load patterns. Oil samples were analyzed every 5,000 miles by Blackstone Laboratories and Polaris Labs, monitoring everything from iron levels to viscosity breakdown with extreme precision. Our main goal was simple. Which oils actually protect the engine and which ones just rely on flashy marketing? Most drivers hear the same line from manufacturers, Change your oil every 10,000 miles and you'll be fine. But what really happens when you push the oil past that? What happens after 100,000 miles? After 200,000 miles? That's what this test set out to uncover. Section 2. What happens to engines when oil doesn't behave properly? By the time we reach the 50,000 mile point, differences between oils were already becoming obvious. Engines running on low-grade or poorly formulated oils began showing elevated levels of iron and aluminum-clear signs of bearing wear. Some oils had thinned out so badly under heat that they felt almost watery. Carbon deposits were forming on piston rings and valve stems. One sample from a bargain-tier full synthetic, which was really just a Group 3 refined blend, came back with a lab warning. Oil severely depleted. High oxidation. Additive pack fully exhausted. The oil had turned acidic, and that engine developed lifter noise within just 3,000 miles. In contrast, oils that retained proper viscosity and maintained a stable TBN showed engines that ran smoother, cleaner, and produced almost no increase in wear metals. The reports confirmed something mechanics have been saying for decades. It's not the number of oil changes that matters, it's the chemistry inside the oil. Section 3, The Midpoint what happened after 150,000 miles? At around 150,000 miles, long-term trends started becoming undeniable. Engines that consistently used true synthetics, real Group 4 base oils, showed exceptional durability. Where metals like iron, copper, and lead stayed nearly unchanged compared to the first 50,000 miles, which is extremely rare in high-mileage engines. But the cheaper synthetics, the ones made from refined petroleum, instead of true synthetic molecules, started showing accelerating wear as mileage increased. Their protection dropped off with age instead of improving. As engines accumulate miles, clearances widen, heat builds, and deposits form only oils with strong additive chemistry, zinc, molybdenum, boron, were able to keep metal surfaces shielded. By the time we crossed the 200,000 mile threshold, the pattern wasn't just noticeable, it was absolutely clear. Section 4. The shocking 200,000-mile discovery where most oils failed. Most drivers assume that changing oil every 5,000 miles guarantees safety. But here's the surprising truth. Many oils can't even survive. Through 1,000 miles of real heat stress, once an engine gets older. When we hit the 200,000-mile stage, we switched every oil to 10,000-mile intervals to mirror modern extended interval recommendations. That's when things got interesting and ugly. 
Half of the oils tested suffered major viscosity breakdown, dropping from their rated 5W30 down toward thin 5W20 levels. Crucial additives like calcium and magnesium responsible for cleaning and neutralizing acids were nearly drained. TBN levels plunged below 2.0, which is the danger zone. In one engine, the oil became so dark and gritty that it triggered low oil pressure warnings. That engine eventually failed at 217,000 miles due to scored bearings and heavy sludge buildup in the cylinder head. On the other hand, oils such as AMSOIL Signature, Redline, and HPL Euro maintained TBN numbers above 6.0 with very low oxidation. They didn't just make it through, they kept the engine protected the entire time. This test made it clear longevity wasn't about brand hypey, it was about chemical stability at the molecular level. When we removed the valve covers from the top performing engines, they looked bright and clean. No varnish, no sludge, no scoring. The engines that ran lower tier oils looked the opposite, dark brown interiors, heavy varnish, rough surfaces. The engines weren't different. The oil chemistry was. Section five, the hidden factor detergent fatigue. Here's something even many seasoned mechanics overlook. Oil isn't just there to lubricate it, also has to clean. But every time it neutralizes acids or dissolves carbon, the detergent package inside the oil gets weaker. Cheap synthetic blends lose their cleaning strength within just 2,000-3,000 miles. True synthetics, however, can keep cleaning for close to 10,000 miles before their detergents begin to fade. Once that detergent system collapses, two major problems show up. Sludge begins forming under the valve covers, especially in hot spots where old oil cooks. Additives start falling out of suspension, sinking to the bottom of the oil pan instead of circulating, meaning the engine loses protection exactly when it needs it most. That's why sometimes, even with regular oil changes, the dipstick still comes out looking dirty. It's not the engine causing the issue, it's chemical exhaustion. High-end oils like Redline and HPL consistently performed better because their detergents are ester-bonded, meaning they stay stable under heat and stress instead of separating. That one difference can be the deciding factor between an engine that reaches 300,000 miles and one that dies at 180,000. Section 6. When oil truly starts to fail, the 230,000-mile threshold. Around the 230,000-mile mark, we hit a phenomenon that most mechanics rarely discuss the difference between additive fatigue and base oil fatigue. Many people assume oil fails simply because it gets dirty. But in reality, it's the chemical breakdown of the additives that comes first. Think of oil like a team. The base oil is the carrier, and the additives are the soldiers fighting wear, friction, acids, and sludge. When those additives are depleted, even the finest synthetic base oil can no longer protect the engine. That's why, at roughly 230,000 miles engines, using top-tier oils like HPL, AMSOIL, and Redline maintained low wear metal counts, while cheaper oils hit a wall. TBN dropped below 2.0 and total acid numbers spiked above 4.5. Engines running. These lower quality oils began generating microscopic metal flakes early signs of bearing fatigue. Once this starts, it's irreversible. You can only slow the damage down. The lesson is clear. It's not about the mileage your oil claims to last. It's about whether its chemistry is still effective at 5,000 miles or already exhausted. Section seven, the hidden connection between fuel and oil. Here's something few drivers realize fuel quality plays a huge role in how quickly oil degrades. During the 300,000 mile test, engines running on E10 gasoline, a 10% ethanol blend experienced roughly 15% faster oil oxidation compared to engines using non-ethanol fuel. Ethanol introduces moisture, which reacts with additives and accelerates their breakdown. Even the best synthetic oils can suffer if paired with low-quality fuel. In our tests, oil in these engines became slightly acidic and lost viscosity more quickly, effectively doubling the stress on engine protection. Experts from the Automotive Research Institute confirmed these findings ethanol combined with frequent short trips speeds up oil deterioration through water vapor and fuel dilution. These are two of the most underestimated threats to oil life. Pro tip. If you live in the US, stick to top tier fuels like Shell, Chevron, or Costco.
They contain detergent additives that reduce carbon buildup and can extend oil life by up to 1,500 miles per change. Section 8. The 30 Oil Test That Revealed Everything The most eye-opening discovery from this test came from a simple oil analysis, something anyone can order online for less than $30. We used Blackstone Laboratories, which allows you to send a 3-ounce oil sample before a change and receive a detailed report. The report shows metal content, demisage, contaminants, additive depletion, TBN, and viscosity. This one test clearly indicated when an oil stopped protecting the engine. For example, in one Toyota using a big-name oil, the analysis flagged low viscosity for grade and fully depleted additives, suggesting a shorter interval was needed. After switching to AMSOIL Signature Series and running another 10,000 miles, the following analysis confirmed that, with strong additives, the oil could safely last longer. For less than the price of dinner, you can learn far more about your engine's health than any dashboard light could ever tell you. Data beats guesswork every time. Section 9. The number one habit that nearly doubled engine light. After 300,000 miles of testing, the most powerful insight wasn't about oil brands or additive chemistry, it was about consistency. Every vehicle that survived with minimal wear followed a single golden rule. Oil changes were done regularly, using the same oil, same filter, and same interval. Switching brands too frequently disrupts additive chemistry. Mixing leftover oils confuses the base oil, and skipping filter upgrades allows tiny metal particles to circulate like sandpaper. Consistency creates stability. Engines that stuck to one oil brand throughout the test showed on average 22% less wear and ran cooler. Here's why it matters when oil chemistry remains stable. Protective films form on engine metal, bonding at the molecular level. Change brands too often, and that protection is stripped away. In short, Loyalty to a single oil matters not for the brand, but for your engine's survival. Section 10. Real-World Proof The Million Mile Taxi Test We also cross-checked our findings with real-world endurance vehicles, like a Toyota Camry taxi from Chicago, that surpassed 1 million miles. The secret? Amsoil 5W30 oil paired with a premium filter changed every 6,000 miles. When Toyota engineers inspected this engine, they found the cylinder crosshatching still intact, camshaft surfaces smooth and free of pitting, and compression within 5% of factory specifications. This is what real protection from synthetic oil looks like, not flashy marketing claims. It proves that if you respect proper oil chemistry, an engine can easily reach 300,000, 500,000, or even a million miles. Section 11, Common Mistakes. Drivers keep making. Even after seeing these results, many car owners revert to old habits. Here's what most people do wrong. Buying oil based on price rather than chemistry. Using cheap filters that bypass when clogged. Ignoring the effects of short trips, which degrade oil faster than mileage alone. Mixing brands or different viscosities. Assuming fresh oil automatically means a clean engine. Engines don't fail overnight. They fail molecule by molecule. Your oil is either fighting this slow decay or contributing to it. Before your next oil change, ask yourself, is the oil I'm using designed to protect or just to sell? Section 12, expert takeaway, building the perfect oil routine. If you want your car to last 300,000 plus miles like our test vehicles, here's the proven approach. Choose one top tier synthetic oil. Amsoil, Redline, HPL, or Liqui Moly. Use a premium filter Wix, XP, Mobile One, or high efficiency OEM options. Test your oil every 10,000 miles using a lab to track additive and viscosity health. Stick to a single oil brand, don't mix or experiment. Warm up the engine gently before driving and avoid revving a cold engine. Use high quality fuel whenever possible, avoiding ethanol heavy blends. Track oil performance, not just mileage. Follow these steps, and you're not just maintaining your car, you're preserving its DNA. Engines don't die of old age. They die because chemistry failed.